Hey guys, it is the end of May and things are finally settled so I can finally talk about Molly's car seat. I got it at the very beginning of May. It came like four days after it said it would, but it finally got here. Gosh, oh my gosh, it finally came. It's here. It's her car seat. I'm so excited. I got I got the purple one. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I'm so excited about it. So, I set it up and then I just kind of left it there. Because, like, there was... She's not going to be using it for a while anyway, so... Um, when I got it, I, you know, set it up to be rear-facing and all that. There's a huge instruction book that goes with it. But, um... A couple days ago, I decided to put her in it just to see how she looked in it. You are going to grow into this? Yeah? Ooh, straps! Oh, how cool! <laughs> you think it's cool? Do you approve? You'll be riding in style. You look so small in this huge car seat. And she looked great, of course. She was precious and adorable, and she seemed to really like it. And it's a really cushy, like, soft seat, so it'll be really, really nice. Yesterday, I decided to, um, adjust the straps as long as I had nothing to do. I was just killing time, so I decided to adjust the straps. And it was kind of interesting. The the shoulder straps are really easy to adjust. You just, you know, like take it apart from the back, take them out, put them in the thing. The only problem is that Molly's like, she's like not tall enough for the slot that's at her shoulders, but she's like way taller than the next slot lower. So I, either the straps are like way behind her shoulders or they're like a little bit above. So I'm hoping that by the time we go on our trip, which will be the first time that we use it, that she'll be tall enough that I can move it back up a slot because it's really weird. Like, I know that when it's rear-facing, um, the straps are supposed to be below their shoulders. So it works fine. It's not, like, bad or anything. It's just really low because of her height right now. Uh, but the hardest part to adjust was the buckle, like, the crotch part. Oh my gosh, because, um, the way it's set up, it's just, like, kind of free-floating thing with like a metal plate that keeps it from going up the hole and uh, the way you adjust it is that you have to stick your hand in this little slot where the seat belt goes through and you have to grab onto the piece of metal and like turn it sideways and then like stick it up through the slot like a coin and <laughs> the problem is I have these huge hands and so it was really hard to do and the instructions even say if you have large hands and find this difficult then like flip the seat bottom up so you can have more room and even that was like it was so tight in there I could barely like move my hand when it was in there and I was getting so frustrated with it I was like sweating and just like Ugh. and so I made Ben do it so he managed to figure it out like we just caught a corner and I managed to pull it through, but it took forever. By forever, I mean like five to ten minutes. It didn't take that long, but it took a long time. And I was just like frustrated. I was like, oh, I'm so hot. My back hurts from leaning over. Ah, blah, blah, blah. And Molly was like crying. This cry that was just grating on my ears. Like I had the worst headache from this cry that she was doing because we were like not paying attention to her so we could fix this car seat. So it was just like, ah. So we finally got the thing out and I moved it to the correct position and got it all set and done and then I I put her in, adjusted the straps, and then um, it comes with an infant insert and a toddler insert. Like the the whole like padded thing with the head and the sides is the infant insert. If you take off the head part, it's a toddler insert. So I decided to put that on just because it would give her more padding because she is really small. So I put that in there and then I put her in and buckled all the straps and of course by then she was like totally done. She was like crying and just carrying on but I think I've got it so that it's perfect and it will work really well and I'm really excited for the next couple months for her to start using it. I thought installation was going to be tricky but installation is actually going to be really easy and it will be probably pretty easy to move it 
from car to car because all I have to do is stick the seatbelt in, make sure it's locked, you know, and like push down and all that. So I'm really excited to start using it. I'm gonna call it her purple chair instead of like she's got she's got her infant seat and now she's got her purple chair. I'm just gonna call it her purple chair. So her purple chair, it's really, really nice, really deluxe, and I love it already. It is kind of awkward right now. The chest clip is huge, and so it's kind of awkward looking on her because she's so small because it's meant for, like, toddlers and kids. Um, so right now the chest clip is really big, but it works. And the, the buckle's a little hard to, like, unbuckle just because she's not big enough, so it's, like, her whole like bulky diaper right there so it's kind of hard to reach in and like undo the buckle but whatever I'll figure it out because she's gonna be using it for several years and yes it is the car seat that can rear face to like 45 pounds or whatever it's a really really nice really expensive car seat but like I said in my update it only cost me a hundred dollars and cost my parents like 98 because we got it on sale, my mom used a bunch of Amazon bucks to help with the cost, so it ended up being like, and it was basically free for me because that hundred dollars was money that I had received as a gift, so I did get it for a lot less than it sells for, so that was nice, but it is a very nice car seat, and I'm very excited to start using it. So once she starts using it, once I put it, you know, in the car or whatever, I'm going to obviously show what it looks like and stuff, but right now it's just kind of sitting in my front room just hanging out. I may kind of start to put it in my car. I don't know yet. I have to figure out which seat I want to put it on. I don't want to put it in the middle because I don't want to lean over to put it in an owl. I'm going to put it either behind my seat or the other, the passenger seat. I want to put it behind my seat because it's a lot easier to reach in my garage, but then I wouldn't have that seat and it would be harder for passengers to go around and get in, but whatever. It's not a problem to back out. That's what I have to do in Ben's car. When I was pregnant, I could not get out of his car when it was in my garage, so I had to do that anyway, so it's not a problem. So, as for her infant seat, I'm planning to use it until she is either too heavy for me to lift it in and out. If I'm, like, unbuckling her out of it more than I'm just using it when she's asleep and stuff. Once it's inconvenient for me to carry her because she's so heavy, then I will probably switch over or when she's a year old or maybe after our trip I'll decide to put it in my car and then have the infant seat in Ben's car because he doesn't um he's not driving her around a whole lot so we will figure out what we're going to do about a second car seat when we get that far but that is the bonus of the infant seat that I have is that since it's a key fit I think I have a key fit 22 it will hold her until she's pretty big so we will figure it out when we get that far, but for now, that's how it's working, and I'm very excited to start using her purple seat. And I love my baby. Yes, yeah, so I guess I will go because I run out of things to say, and I'm talking in circles again. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.